Just imagine this. It's a Friday afternoon at 2.40 and you're ready to go home. But instead, you're stuck in traffic for 20 minutes and you can't leave here until 3 o'clock. Listen up for future tips and procedures from the man with a plan, Mr. Connick. Where y'all can park and where you can't? Yes. Well, the reason that we designated the teacher parking up by the gym is because we're using the gym parking as like a uh, loading zone for, for uh, car riders, and we don't like a lot of movement up that area in that area. And so the car riders will come up there and get in their car, and then when the baseball field gets finished, they'll be able to go on out the back so we can get a lot of the uh, parking problems out of that main parking and everybody will be able to get out faster. We currently have 785 parking spots here at Baker. Unfortunately, we have almost 200 faculty and staff here, so that only leaves about 590 parking spots for students to use throughout the campus, including four different locations. I wish we had more. You know, I really do. It would, it would save a lot of problems as far as what we try to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis as far as trying to accommodate everybody. Here at Baker, parking space is limited, but Mr. Connick has tips for smoother traffic not park in the major thoroughfares because we don't want anybody's car to get hit. Uh, so you need to be out of these main areas. Don't start parking illegally there because we'll have to put a boot on you and tow you off just for the simple fact that we just can't have you parking. Administrators do understand parking here at Baker is limited. However, safety is still their greatest concern. The main thing uh, is we just want to make sure that you know, safety is the number one concern, and nobody's parking illegally. And if we can find those guys that are taking advantage of us by not having a parking pass, you know, that we can get those guys out of there. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can visit the man with a plan, Mr. Connick.